Here in Copenhagen, the campaigners aren't just protesting against the workings of the COP, there's also a positive agenda as well to try and find alternate solutions to the climate crisis. So today we're going to go and check out some of those meetings taking place around the city. And the first one is Klima Forum. I just wanted to point out the translation booths because this entire conference is being translated into a multitude of different languages and people over there are just meeting one another for the first time and it's unbelievable how many different countries are represented here. So here we are inside one of the workshops and behind me they're talking about the transition town movement under the title Sustainable Living, Localism and Resilience. And in essence what you've got here is people coming together and working out how they can fight the climate crisis in their own communities from the bottom up. What you have here is, in essence, the polar opposite of what's going on inside the Bella Centre, where you have a few world leaders coming together to decide how to top-down manage this problem as opposed to bottom-up. We're joined by Christine from Denmark and she's one of the organisers of the Klima Forum here. First question is, how important do you think like, uh, forums like this are as opposed to the, the negotiations going on in the Bella Centre? I think this is even more important because it's you and me who's going to you know, do the changes in our lives to, 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 um, to get this problem solved. So, so we need civil society, we need to get our butt out of the sofa and start working and th this is what we're trying to do here. And is it working? It's working. It's, we have, well, we have 100 organizations behind Klima Forum. And uh, before we started, we had 7,000 registered participants. But we, we stopped re registering because it's an open forum. Everybody can just walk in from the street. But we think we had about 30,000 people here. And uh, we just made a declaration, which was um, in a, you know, an open dialogue between 70 different organizations and was decided here on Klima Forum. And we just, in three days, 300 organizations has signed our declaration. So we think it's going really well. But also, we are right now in negotiations with the G77, with the island states, trying to get them to endorse the declaration and, of course, use it to their, uh, in their case in the Bella Center. And the most inspiring thing you've seen all week? Jesus, it was the Waste Pickers Organize. A small workshop held by waste pickers from Bogota and Mumbai telling us how we can make a, a recycling system using the resources of homeless people and actually solve the, the trash problems of the world. That was so inspiring. I can't tell you how different the feeling is in, in, in the Klima Forum as opposed to the Bella Centre. The Bella Centre is just incredibly stuffy, it's really closed off from the rest of the world and you'd barely know that you were at the so-called most important meeting in humankind's history. So, in leaving today, I suppose the thought that I've got is um, what does an alternative look like? If these negotiations fail, as it's looking increasingly likely that they will, who should come up with the solutions? How should they be organised and who should be in charge with them? The loud and clear message coming from this place is it should be people coming together in communities. Mm -hmm.